back with Sarah Stamping Retreat. Today I'm doing a stretch your stash video so I'm going to show five different ways to use this hot foil plate and die set from Spellbinders. So this is the Party Balloons bouquet but it's a really flexible set because it's got all sorts of accessories so that you can use it in different ways. So that's what I'm planning to show you today. You might have seen a video that I did a couple of weeks ago and I made a couple of cards with this then so I'll link that below in case you want some more ideas using it but today we're just going to explore a load of different ways to use it so I've done a lot of the hot foiling in advance I'll do a little bit of hot foiling in this video so you can see how to do it and so you can see a couple of the techniques that I'm going to use but I don't want you to have to watch all of the hot foiling I've done a lot of it while I was prepping the video so that you wouldn't have to watch it all. So I have hot foiled the balloons and then I've done three of the sticks. And then also this Welcome Baby is from a really lovely hot foil set of sentiments that comes with matching dies. And I'll pop that on screen now and I'll also link it below because that's a really useful set and a lot of the... Um, sentiments that I'm using today have come from that set and then I've done these two bows as well and all of those I've done onto white cardstock with copper foil and then there's also this balloon bouquet design stencil that I'll be using on a lot of the cards today you can see there's just lots of different designs that you can add to your balloons with that so I'm going to be using those for these but obviously I don't want them to go over the other balloons so what I'm going to do is use these pieces that came out of here and I'm going to tape them onto the balloons that I'm not stenciling just now to protect those while I stencil the other one. So I'm going to tape this over here while I do this one here. And you can see I won't get this bit here where it overlaps. I'm going to make this a baby card so I'm going to go with some quite nice kind of like bright colours. So I'm going to go with Crap pistachio first on this one. And I'm just going to pop this here because that's the piece that's going to overlap properly. And then I'm going to go with shaded lilac for this main one. And then for the final one, I want to do this back one. So I need to take this on here. And then I'm also going to take the other one on this side. And then I'm going to use this part of the stencil in the mustard seed. And you can see that's just protected that really nicely. So now I'm going to add these into my balloons. And I'm going to pop some fine pads behind. I'm just going to make sure I kind of like catch those with the foam pads as well so that they're not wobbling about. And I'm going to add some little foam strips to the back of here as well so that the little sticks are popped up as well. You can see that by popping those sticks in there it means that it doesn't look like this is stuck on top of the balloon. It makes it look like it's coming out of the balloon. And then I'm going to glue on this one behind so it looks like it's coming out for the yellow balloon. And then I'm going to glue on my little bows. I think those are such a nice little added touch, these bows. And then I've got my welcome baby. I want that to go there. So that's that card finished. So then for my second card, I just want to show you one of the little tricks for hot foiling. So you can see I've hot foiled the It's Party Time, which is from the same set as the Welcome Baby that I used for the last card. I've hot foiled this and I've hot foiled two of these straight onto this black piece of card. So then I want a third string, but I obviously don't want this bit because this bit would be hidden behind the other balloons. So I've cut this piece of silver foil so it's a bit of an angle and that angle is so that 
it doesn't go over this line here I want it just to kind of like go nicely onto that blue we're gonna make these ones into like disco balls hence the it's party time sentiment and then I'm going to use this like this so I'm just going to overlap this so this bit won't foil because there's no foil underneath it it'll only foil this kind of string bit so let's take that down and then I'm going to foil it as I would normally so this is also an opportunity to show you how to foil if you're not sure how so I've got my foiling machine heated up and I can tell that it's heated up because it's got this green light on so then I'm going to put this so that the hot foil plate is down on here and then I'm going to press this timer. When that timer stops blinking, then it's hot enough. So now that it's stopped blinking, it takes about a minute to stop blinking, I can put my two plates on and I can run it through my die cutting machine. I've not got room on my work surface today to have my die cutting machine. So I'm going to do that off screen. But you just run it through like you would normal dies, except for a little slower. Also, I should mention, you don't need any extra plates. These are the plates that you use. So then I can take this off. So then I'm going to do some heating button on this one through my stencil. And like I said, I want to make them into disco balls. So I'm going to use this one here. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of Versamark ink onto an acrylic block. And then I'm just going to pick up some on my blending tool and just dab it through the stencil. And then I've got some really lovely heat embossing powders from Wow Embossing. I've just recently become a member of their design team. So they sent me some gorgeous um, embossing powders to try out. I'm going to use a few of those on here. So this first one is the Polish Silver Super Fine. And I'm going to melt the powders off screen because I don't have enough plugs in here today. So that's that first one done. Now I'm going to use my little masking trick for the second one. And then for this one I'm going to use this Black Magic which is a really cool kind of like multicolour one. You can see all the different coloured bits in there. It's kind of got silvers, golds and blacks in there. And you can see that that gives a kind of like more rustic look. Like it's um, it's quite textured. It comes, it actually comes physically quite high off the page. And also it's just that nice mix of the three colours which looks quite cool. And then I think I'll do my final one in gold because this has got kind of the mixture of silver and gold in it. And so then I'm going to use this polished gold super fine embossing powder on that last one. So then I've got a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card blank. And then I've got some silver mirror card stock that is quarter of an inch smaller than that. And then this piece that I've been using is an eighth of an inch smaller than that. So all I need to do now is just layer them up. And then I'm actually just going to offset it with a few of those little sequins. I'm going to use some glue dots to add them on. And they just add even more sparkle to that very sparkly card. So then for my next card, I'm going to make these into oranges as opposed to balloons. So I'm going to grab in some scrap paper. And I'm going to use my orange cream ink from Ultimate. And I'm just going to pop that orange cream all the way over this. And I've used the black foil on this one. And then you can see I've made these leaves with the green foil. And then I've got some Autumn Blazing. I feel like these dots look a little bit like the kind of dots on an orange. So I'm going to add some of these on with the autumn blaze. 
I'm not going to worry about masking on this one because quite honestly like it's just a few dots so it's not that big a deal if it goes on to the other ones. So then I've got a UK A6 yellow card blank so that is five and seven eighths by four and eight inches then I've got this piece which is just over a quarter of an inch smaller and then I've got another yellow piece that's like eighth of an inch smaller than that and then I can put my oranges on there I'm going to add these fun little leaves on the top and if it annoys you that they've got the white border you could absolutely um, just cut around those just with your scissors but I think it makes it quite fun And then I'm just going to use these black and white essential enamel dots from Altenew. I'm just going to dot around a few of the black ones. So then that's that card finished. So for this next one, I'm going to create some baubles. And I'm going to create them in salt taffy. Whereas with the oranges, I coloured the entire thing. This one, I'm going to use this so that it kind of keeps it within the lines I still want to keep that um, white edge to the bauble and then I can just go over this little line and just make sure that's coloured fully And then I'm just going to use a piece of kitchen towel just to rub that over so that I just remove some of that ink from the um, foiling. So then I'm going to add some patterns to these using some gold embossing powder. So I'm just going to go over that really well with my embossing buddy. So I don't want it sticking to the other ink. I'm just going to use that rich metallic gold embossing powder. And I'm going to use the same embossing powder for all three on this one. So I'm just going to use this Merry Christmas from this The Winter Garden Sentiment Stamps from Spellbinders. I never worry too much about whether you can buy the sentiments that I use because I think everyone tends to have some favourite sentiments in their stash. So then I'm just going to heat emboss this onto here. And I want to put some strings down for the baubles. So I'm going to put a little glue dot behind where I want the strings to be so for example here for this one because that's just behind where I want this one to come down and then just behind there for that one and then the third one could probably go out here and then I'm going to do a trail of glue up from that and then I'm going to add on some of these sequins and the glue dot will help keep them in place and then once the dry the wet glue dries then that will keep the whole thing in place and then i've got these little ball bell hangers that i'm just going to add on to here as well And 
Now I'm going to finish off with a few of these autumn sequins. And there's that card finished. See how sparkly that is. And then for my final card, I've hot foiled the balloons in copper onto vellum and I would say that when you're hot foiling onto vellum I would use an extra shim to make sure it foils properly and I'm going to do a shaker card but I really want really fine shaker fine so I'm just cutting these strips in half and if you follow my link below to the other video where I showed you of cards using this set you'll see on there I've got a shaky card and that is the way that this is intended to be used as a shaker because it comes with a circle that cuts out the middle of the kind of like full balloon so you can see this circle here cuts out the middle of this balloon and then you can make a shaker like that but I decided I wanted to kind of make a full shaker here so I'm using this shaker frame to go around each of these balloons so I want to make sure there's some sequins in each balloon so that's why I'm going to go around each of the balloons individually I'm trying to follow the line of the foiling as closely as I can. I don't really want this showing through. And I'm making sure that all the ends are kind of right in next to each other. And I'm happy with that. I don't feel like you can really see the foam through at all. And then I'm going to use this melon mix from loose cards. I'm going to take some of these bigger pieces out because um, I've only got one layer of shaker foam on. And I'm just testing these on here just to make sure that all of the pieces fall within the shaker areas. And then I can take the backing off here. You can see those look really cute behind there. And they just add like a little subtle kind of elegance to it, I think. And then I'm going to stick these on. I'm not going to worry that they're going over here because I'm going to put the bows on top. And then I'm going to glue this one on behind. I'm going to chop that top off because we don't need there. And then I'm going to glue on my bows. Again, everything on this I've used the copper foil for. It's really pretty colour, this kind of card. Then I'm going to put that bride to be, which is from the same sentiment set. As the other foiled sentiments onto there and then that's that card finished so and there are all five of today's cards so i really hope that it's given you some ideas for stretching your stash and using things in different ways i really like the flexibility of this set if you enjoyed today's cards i'd really appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos if you press the bell button and select all then youtube will also notify you when i've got a new video available all of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below and there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today, I hope to see you again soon.